Hello and welcome. This is Kim Clayman from steadyoptions.com. I would like to talk today about risk reward and probability of success. So how many times did you hear the following claims? Our system has 90% success ratio or our trades have 1 to 10 risk reward. Let's examine those statements and see how you should put them in context and consider other parameters as well. We will use vertical spread strategy as an example. So using SPS as a, an underlying, we can uh, take the following trade using December monthly expiration. Sell 2015 puts and buy 2005 puts. So this is vertical spread which uh, we are getting a hundred percent, a hundred dollars uh, credit and we are risking nine hundred dollars since this is a credit spread with a distance between the strikes of uh, 10 points and the maximum margin is a thousand dollars less the credit which is nine hundred dollars so this is pretty terrible uh, risk reward we are basically risking $900 to make $100. Risk reward is one to nine. However, take a look at our PNL chart. This is our PNL zone. Our, our potential profit is uh, relatively small. It's about 10%. But we have over 90% probability to achieve this profit. So bad risk reward in this case translates to very good probability of success, which means that in the, out of uh, uh, 10 uh, trades, statistically, we're going to make money in uh, nine out of 10 trades. And this is pretty good uh, probability of uh, success, but it comes with a terrible risk reward. Now let's see what happens to someone who takes opposite side of the same trade. He is buying 2015 puts and selling 2005 puts. So his cost is $100 and this is the same as the margin. There is no margin because this is debit spread. So the risk reward is very good. His maximum gain is $900. So he's risking $100 to make $900, which is one to nine risk reward. Very good risk reward. But take a look at probability of success. Probability of success is only 6.6%, which means that uh, the probability to make this terrific gain is very low, less than 10%. All right, let's take a look at another trade, which would be a buying at the money options. So we would be buying 2,090 puts and selling 2,080 puts. Actually, let's go one strike higher, buying 2,095 and selling 2,085. So we will be paying $420, our maximum gain is $560. So we're risking $420 to make $560. That's more or less one to one reward. And what is our probability of success? It's 49%, almost 50%. Why? Because we are trading at the money spread, which means that we have about 50% probability of success. So risking $1 to make $1 will usually gives us more or less 50% probability of success. Risking $1 to make $9 will usually mean about 10% probability of success. Risking $9 to make $1 will usually mean about 90% probability of success. Now, this is, of course, not an exact science. It's a general rule of thumb. 
but it helps us to see the approximate relation and trade-off between the risk reward and probability of success. And this is uh, true in general in, the, in the trading. Uh, you cannot have both good risk reward and high probability of success. You usually have to select one of them. So next time you will, someone will ask you, would you risk $9 to make $1? Consider the context. Yes, it is terrible risk reward, but considering high probability of success, this is not such a bad trade. It will likely be a winner most of the time, probably around 90% of the time. The big question is what you do in those cases, it goes against you. At the same time, the answer to the question, would you risk $1 to make $9 is also not so obvious. It is an excellent risk reward, but the probability to actually realize this reward is very low. So again, this is a trade-off that you always should uh, consider when uh, trading options. And I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Bye-bye. Have a good day.